Hey, it's Jamie here from Pulse Barbecue, and today at the pit, we're doing a review of the Slow and Sear from Adrenaline Barbecue. I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that I have and all the details that you need to know. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the review. So when it comes to barbecuing, there's always so many great accessories that are always coming onto the market and some really stand out over the others. And so when I first saw this guy, uh, which is uh, the Slow and Sear from Adrenaline Barbecue Company, I got really excited because it, it replaces uh, and upgrades something that I always use, which is a charcoal basket for my grill. And uh, I always saw it used with Weber uh, kettle grills. And so my first question that I had with, with this product was, uh, would it fit into my Napoleon? Uh, kettle grill and sure enough it does so I was super excited when I when I found that out so my first impression of the Sloan Sear is that it's made made to last uh, from from the quality of, of the steel uh, stainless steel to the uh, just how how it's all built and welded together it's really strong it's it weighs uh, a good three to four pounds and so it's it's just gonna it's gonna be a solid accessory to add to your grilling um, it's got uh, two, two components of it. It's got the charcoal basket as well as this water trough uh, that you can fill up for low and slow uh, or you leave it empty if you're doing uh, some hot searing uh, using the slow and sear. All in all, the Sloan Sear uh, looks like it's just incredible and there's no better way to find out except for put it in the grill and put it to the test. All right, so to get your Sloan Sear set up, you're just gonna place it into the grill on the one side. And so you can see it fits flush underneath uh, where your grill sits on. And so we placed a, a lighter cube on the far side and we covered it with about uh, 12 briquettes. And we're going to let this go for about 15 minutes or until the briquettes get uh, fully ashed over. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes now and these coals are ashed over as much as we really need them to be. And so the next step in this process is filling the Sloan's here with uh, unlit charcoal. So we're gonna take about three quarters of a chimney uh, full of uh, unlit briquettes and pour that into the Sloan's here. Once we got that done, we're gonna take some of our hardwood that we're gonna use to smoke with uh, and, and place that on top of our, our unlit briquettes. And we need to be mindful uh, where our grate's gonna be sitting as well. And so you might need to press uh, your hardwood into the, the, the briquettes a little bit, just so that uh, your grate can sit nice and flush on top of the slow and sear. So once that's all done, your last step is to pour some water into the water trough. So we've got some hot water and we're just gonna pour that in there until it's uh, close to full. All right, so now that all of your steps are done, uh, we're gonna place our grill grate on top of the slow and sear. Uh, we're using the Napoleon kettle grill today, and so we actually have a choice of three different levels. And so we're actually gonna put ours on the middle level, which is about an inch uh, over the slow and sear. Then we're also gonna take our Thermoworks smoke uh, just to uh, get a reading of, of the average temperature that we're getting uh, throughout this cook. All right, so our grill is uh, just past 200 degrees, so we're gonna open it up and we're gonna put on some chicken drumsticks. We see a lot of guys doing tests with uh, ribs or steak or pork butt, and uh, we thought we would uh, switch it up a little bit. So ideally with chicken, we would normally cook it at around 275 to 300 degrees so that you can bite through the skin a little bit nicer. We're gonna cook these uh, around 225 degrees, which is sort of the ideal temperature with the Sloan Sear. And we're just gonna cook them a little bit longer uh, to help break down that skin. So these chicken drumsticks have now been cooking for just over an hour using the slow and sear and we've been holding a, a temperature in the pit around 240 degrees. I would say that for the first initial cook, having that temperature uh, close to 225 is, is pretty good, especially using uh, the, the Napoleon kettle grill. Uh, often you see this in the Weber and so uh, there's a little bit of airflow difference within the two grills. And so 240 uh, for the first cook, in my opinion, is, is actually pretty good. And so we'll adjust that and tweak that uh, for the next couple of cooks so that we can get a, a good consistent temperature of 225 or so in the cook. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna open the lid, uh, get those drumsticks all sauced, and we're gonna get them back on the grill uh, for another 45 minutes.
All right, so this chicken is all done. It was smoking uh, using the Sloan's here for about two hours, then I put it over direct heat uh, for a few minutes on each side, and it came out looking really, really good. I'll taste it in a moment. Uh, but in terms of the Sloan sear itself, uh, I'm very, very impressed with, with the quality, uh, with how easy it was to set up, and for how consistent uh, the cook was. We were, uh, were cooking on average about 240 degrees using the Napoleon. On the Weber, you would have, um, I think, a, uh, from what I understand anyways, a slightly lower temperature around 225 using the exact same uh, setup technique. And so we're gonna adapt our uh, set up just a touch to accommodate our grill. Uh, but the Sloan Sear, I'm, I, so far with this initial test, uh, I'm loving its, its capabilities, I'm loving the quality, I'm loving everything about it, and I can't wait to, to try it out uh, on other types of, of meats. And so I'm gonna put a link for you in the description box below. Right now it's about $120 or so, give or, ch give or take, uh, at the time of filming this. And so make sure to click down there in the details to check it out for yourself. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's give this chicken a taste and see how it is. So this drumstick tasted really good uh, with that just classic rub and sauce. You can see the smoke uh, in the color of the meat. Uh, bit through really nice and you just tasted really good. So that's our review of the Sloan's here from Adrenaline Barbecue Company. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it, what your thoughts are, and uh, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. Also share this video and we'll see you next time.